firearms, freedom. This is Armed Lutheran Radio. Welcome back. It's our 200th episode extravaganza. We're joined now by the host of one of the longest running pro gun podcasts ever. It is Bob Main of the Handgun World podcast. Bob, welcome. Hey, thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here, Lloyd. Well, thank you so much for uh, for joining us. And uh, of course, you're here with the rest of the cast. You've been uh, doing this. You've been doing this for a long time. You're up to yes. what 491. Episode? I'm at four. I'm at 493. I posted that tonight, which will release tomorrow on the 15th. 493. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. A couple we, of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you for those of you wondering why Bob Main is here, aside from the fact that he's he's awesome, um, the reason is really simple, and I've told this story before. Um, whenever people ask how I got started, I started blogging back in 2012. Uh, but I started listening to pro gun podcasts and there were two that I gravitated to for a couple of years before I started the podcast and Bob Maine's handgun world was one of them. Um, I just instantly gravitated to it because you're the every man you're, you're not special forces. You're not law enforcement. You're a guy like me who's sitting in your car, driving to work, who's talking with authority about guns in your mobile studio mm -hmm. in the handgun world mobile studio. That's right. That's right. I really, I really uh, enjoyed the podcast early on. I grab, like I said, I gravitated to it because it just spoke to me. Um, what inspired you to, um, to get started to start doing a podcast? Well, I was at that time in my job, I had a lot of windshield time. I was driving everywhere, all over the whole state of Texas. And there was only only so much you know business that I wanted to do actual business while I was driving, and so I wanted something to pass the time, and I wanted I had been thinking about starting a podcast anyway, and I thought well I got a lot of time here in my car, so why don't I just try recording? And and what's interesting is I actually recorded two episodes that I never released just so I could figure out how to record while I was driving my car. But I, I wanted to do it, and, and driving in my car is when I had the most time to do it. Yep, yep. Well, you've – the other thing that I liked uh, and have always liked about your show is the fact that you never seemed – you never shied away from talking not just about guns but about your faith. Yes. And I really do appreciate that. Uh, talk about why that was important <clears throat> to include in your show when so many others – seem to focus solely on the gun side of things and the political Well, because side. I wanted my listeners to know who I was and who I am and that they're listening to a real person who, who is, is, is authentic and not just somebody, you know, trying to hide themselves. One of the things I don't like is a lot of people try to put out a false personality out there uh, as somebody that they're not. And I am a man of faith. I am a Christian. I make I make absolutely no apologies about it. I'm proud of it. And so that's why I started talking about it. And, you know, I thought, I thought, well, I might lose some listeners by doing this, but I don't care because, you know, if they're going to, if they're going to drop me because of that, then just so be it. That's the way it is. Well, I, I really do appreciate that. You, you inspired me to start doing this. And if I haven't told you before, thank you so much for that. And thank you for everything that you've been doing. What's uh, the what's the future look like for uh, at, at 493? You're still going strong. Yeah. Uh, well, the future is obviously I'm closing in on my 500th episode pretty soon. Um, it's been a little over 10 years. I launched the podcast in August of 2009. So I, I want to do something real special for my 500th. And, uh, you know, Lloyd, you got me on this episode. So you want to be on my 500th? Episode? I would be honored. OK, well, good. Then uh, I'll announce it here first. Lloyd Bailey will be one of my guests on my my 500th. Now, I'm only doing two a month now, so right. I guess it's going to take me another four months to get me to 500. <laughs> You're going to have to remind me. I have a short memory. I'm sorry. It's going to take me three months, three months to get to 500. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. What um what prompted the change? You were doing you were doing shows every week for for many many years. 
what prompted the change to 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 once every other week or, or twice a month? That's a good question. And there were two things that prompted the change. Number one, time. I just didn't really, I didn't have the time to, to prepare because of my, my busy real job and family life and things like that to prepare every week. Actually, if you recall, I was doing two podcasts every week, one week, oh, an episode right. every week. Yes. That was just way too much. That was way too much. And it, I was getting dissatisfied with the quality of what I was putting out because I was trying to rush it. You know, I was thinking, oh, no, it's Thursday. I haven't recorded my next episode yet. I got to hurry up and get something out there. <laughs> and when I would listen back to it, I thought, nah. So I bumped it back to the 1st and 15th. So now I do it two episodes a month, the 1st and the 15th. And it's increased the quality of it, I think. It's, it's turned out better. And, and I look forward to it more. It was starting to get to be, like I said, it was, a, it was a Thursday night revelation. Oh no, I don't have an episode prepared for this week yet. I didn't want it to be that way. Right. Right. I hear you. So, um, you have gone from, from just doing the podcast to you and Ben Branham from, uh, uh, modern, modern self protection, uh, got together and started doing a series of videos and, and, uh, you've been out, uh, teaching, mm -hmm. talk about how that got started and, and what that's you traveling around the country, doing some, some instruction as well. Well, a little over five years ago, Ben and I got the idea over lunch one day to start the video membership that we call the shooters club. And we felt that what we were teaching live in classes could also be beneficial uh, over video and better than just your ordinary YouTube video. Um, so we made that our exclusive Shooters Club membership site, which is going very well, better than we thought it would be. And um, there's 80 videos up there. And actually, we've taken a lot of footage from our classes. We filmed a lot of our classes while we were teaching live. And that's a lot of what you see. Right. Right. So, so you get the class without being at class. It's not the same. It's definitely not the same, but at least you get to, you get to see some of it and hear some of it. Yep. Yep. Guys got any questions for Bob before we, we, uh, send him on his merry way. Yeah. I don't have a question. I just want to say thank you. Cause I kind of ripped off your idea for the mobile studio and did my little. <laughs> <top -based laughs> <on it. laughs> And, and, you know, Bill, I've listened I, I, I to a lot of years. You credit for it for a long, I've wanted to give you credit for it for a long time, but I figured it was so obvious. I didn't want everybody to think that. I <laughs> Did you call it a mobile studio also? No, Lloyd has called it a mobile studio. Oh, Lloyd has called it a mobile studio. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's immediately who it reminded me of. Yeah, I'm usually stationary. I'm usually parked somewhere with the radio on. Yeah. And, you know, Bill, uh, but that's okay. I'm glad you did that. I, I've listened to a lot of them, and, and they're very good. Yeah. I, I've learned a lot from Good. from your it's uh you do the ballistic minute is that what it is yes sir yeah that's right yeah it's good very good thank you yeah what you um you mentioned in uh you did a little uh promo spot for me talking about how what you appreciated about the show can you give me a little bit of a, a you know i'm digging for a shameless plug here but yeah no problem. <laughs> but what is it what is it you you liked about and you said you listen and i really do appreciate that it means a ton yeah. coming from from someone who inspired me to do this um mm -hmm. what is it you like about armed lutheran radio that uh, that keeps you listening aside from bill and and yeah it's, it's everybody else you know lloyd i tell you here's why i listened to your first episode <clears throat> Because when you joined the uh, the Self Defense Radio Network at that time, your show said the title "Armed Lutheran Radio." I instantly knew right away this was going to be a mixture of guns and Christian faith, and that interested me. And that was why I, I, I listened to your very first episode. So what I like, Lloyd, is you you've come right out. You've come right out from the gate. From, from the very first episode and said, we're going to put Christianity and guns and self-defense together. I, and I really never even did that, but you, you packaged it that way. And that's, that's what I liked. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Congratulations yeah, that, to you on, on your success. I really do appreciate, appreciate everything Man. you've done over the years. Um, it, thank you for the inspiration and uh, 
Christ's blessings to you. And, and thanks again for, for taking the time to come on the show. And thank you for the invite. I look forward to being on episode 500 of Handgun World. Well, you're very welcome. And thanks again for, for this opportunity. It's been great. <laughs>